Is tracking possible in Prima Pro? Answer is yes. You can even add videos, photos, status to any surface in Prima Pro. As a video editor, I have to do a lot of complex work every single day, like masking, tracking, adding or removing elements from footage. Typically, these tasks are performed in After Effects. However, today I'm gonna explore how you can easily complete these tasks in Prima Pro, as I really enjoy working with Prima Pro. Our today's tutorial is about adding a tattoo to a moving surface like a skin. We basically use Power Mesh, an updated feature of Mocha Pro, to ensure that tattoo moves and blends with a skin. And we are already familiar with Mocha AE, which is the default plugin with After Effects. Mocha AE is a lighter version of Mocha Pro, developed by Boris FX. I have a few tutorials on Mocha AE, namely masking using Mocha in After Effects and tracking building drone footage using Mocha in After Effects. If you want, you can watch these tutorials to gain a basic understanding of Mocha. Mocha Pro makes it possible to add tattoos to surfaces like skin or cloth. It's a plugin from Boris FX, a famous developer of visual effects, software and plugins for creative professionals in film, video, and photography. Their software has been used in most celebrated films and shows, including Star Wars, Avatar, the Harry Potter series, Stranger Things, and more. Now we can drive into Premiere Pro. Inside the software, we have a clip on the timeline featuring a man working out in the gym. The focal point of our footage is a strong, muscular hand where I intend to apply a tattoo. To achieve this, we will start by applying a Mocha Pro to this video. Navigate to the effects panel and find Mocha Pro, then apply it to the footage on timeline. I have a great news for you. By using my exclusive coupon code RE15, you can enjoy 15% discount on any purchase from Boris FX, including popular products like Boris FX Suite, Mocha Pro, and more. Simply visit their website through the link provided in the description. Export the plugins and select the ones you would like to download. Okay, since we have already applied Mocha Pro, so now we can navigate to the effect controls panel. Here you can see Mocha Pro. To open this plugin, click on the logo. Initially, it appears in the essential layout. This layout provides the basic features. To access advanced features like Power Mesh, we need to switch the layout from essential to classic. You can zoom in or out of the footage by scrolling the mouse wheel. If you wanna move it around, simply hold down the X key on the keyboard to get the hand tool, which allows you to move the footage around. I would like to move the time indicator to find the perfect frame for masking or drawing a shape. Now we'll focus on drawing a mask on his hand. Let's use the explainer tool to create a mask like a roto shape. Keep in mind that mesh tracking is slightly more sensitive than planar tracking. If you wanna visualize the surface, click on the planar surface icon. This surface will serve as the canvas for adding the tattoo. Now navigate to the parameter located at the bottom, then proceed to the track section. Under motion, you'll find the various options such as translation, scale, rotation, and most important mesh option. Some are used for single point position data, where others are for four points like corner pin. However, for adding the tattoo, we need to enable all of the options to ensure a seamless integration. When we enable the mesh option, you'll notice some changes in the shape. Let's enable perspective for a more realistic effect. Next, let's discuss the generation mode. This drop-down offers two options. Automatic options automatically selects most suitable mesh based on the image information present in the layer. It works well for clothing and texture surfaces. Uniform option generates uniform square mesh instead of building it based on the existing image. It is recommended for skin surfaces. Mesh size refers to the distance between vertices in pixels. A good starting point of mesh size is 32 for a HD and 4K images. The vertices on spline option ensures the power mesh is generated up to the boundaries of your layer spline, rather than just covering the most interesting details within it. For uniform meshes, this option guarantees that a portion of the mesh overlaps with the spline. In my case, I prefer to keep it active. Click on this button to generate the mesh. Remember to click it every time you make changes to a mesh generation parameter. Now it's time for tracking. Our time indicator is located here. By clicking the track forward icon, we can start tracking to the right. To start tracking to the left, we need to click on the left tracking icon. Let's initiate tracking to the right. Once the tracking of the area is completed, it will display a shadow of blue, while the remaining part will appear red. 
Now we can click on the track backward icon. Our tracking is complete and now we can move the time indicator to observe that everything is ok. If you are unable to see the track mesh or surface, it may be because your tracking layer is currently deselected. Please select the layer once to resolve this. Now let's explore how the mesh tracking works. To start, I will insert a logo onto the tracking surface. For better understanding, we can temporarily deselect the track mesh and layer outlines by clicking on these icons. Now everything appears more straightforward. Let's move the time indicator and observe how everything is working. The log is currently following the four point corner pins, which may be not ideal for adding a tattoo or similar designs that need to conform to the skin's shape. The solution lies in utilizing the power mesh. Let's navigate to the insert tab and check the power mesh warp option. Take a look at the monitor, now it's working well. To help you better understand, let's change it from a logo to a grade 8. When I move the time indicator, you can see the impressive power of power mesh. Now we can select the grade warp and adjust its level. In Mocha Pro, the grade warp tool is used for image warping. By clicking and dragging on its control points, you can manipulate the image according to your needs. Let's navigate to the insert tab to insert a tattoo onto the surface. Select import and choose the tattoo you wanna import. You now see the tattoo inside the surface. Move the time indicator to observe how the tattoo seamlessly interacts with the skin. It is working very well, although some adjustments might be still be necessary. If the planar surface is deselected, let's activate. You can also change its rotation. If required, you can turn off the grade warp. Adjustments for scale and position are available as well. Once everything appears fine, you can enable motion blur, which lends a more natural look to your tattoo. Finally, click on the save project icon to save it and then exit the project. We return to Premiere Pro and you may notice nothing has changed. The log is not present on the hand. To address this, we need to make a couple of adjustments in the effect controls panel. First, let's expand the renders and check this box next to render. This drop down provides several options and we select composite initially. Suddenly, you'll be able to see tattoos appearing. Let's move the time indicator and you observe that the tattoo moves along with the muscles of the skin as before. However, there is an issue. The tattoo appears too sharp and clean, which is unrealistic. To achieve a more realistic look, we need to separate the tattoo from the background. Change the setting from composition to cutout. Cutout means that you only see the tattoo or the image you have added without the main background. If I enable the transparency gate, it will provide a clear visual understanding. Now we need to duplicate this layer, simply hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag it down. Both layers are now same, but uh, I only use the underneath layer as the background. So make sure the underneath layer is selected, then go to the effect controls and remove Mocha Pro from the underneath layer. If I hide the upper layer, which is the tattoo layer, then you only see the background layer. Let's unhide the upper layer and then hide the underneath layer so that you can only see the upper layer or tattoo layer. We basically separated the tattoo from the background because we wanna create a realistic tattoo effect. Now select the tattoo layer and navigate to the effect controls. Modify the opposite of the tattoo layer to blend with the skin. You can also apply the blur effect from the effects tab. If you search for blur in the search box, it will provide you with various blur effects. These effects form Boris effects. If you scroll down, you'll find the glassy and blur effect. For example, let's apply this effect to the tattoo layer. After applying it, go to the effect controls and adjust the blurriness to achieve the desired effect for your tattoo. In this way, you can make a tattoo seamlessly move along with the muscles of the skin in After Effects. In near future, I have exciting plans to produce more in-depth tutorials using the powerful Mocha Pro plugin, which is an extremely useful plugin for video editors and filmmakers. If you see a red line, it indicates that the sequence needs to be rendered by going to the sequence. I trust that you find this tutorial within Premiere Pro enjoyable and user-friendly. I'll continue creating tutorials like this and I hope to see you in the future as well.